prepared to debate which the, uh, the American's education system, which the affirmative says is failing due to one factor, teachers. However, there is far more to education than educators. In fact, placing the blame upon teachers only scratches the surface of the issue. Resolved that the U.S. federal government should enact a policy to significantly improve the quality of teaching in all public schools via one or more of the following areas. Compensation, tenure slash job security, teacher training slash certification, and evaluation. Today, my partner Iris and I will prove why this resolution is undesirable, impractical, and illogical, and explain the scare tactics that our opponents may use. The Merriam-Webster Dictionary defines significantly as having or likely to have influence or effect. Applied to the resolution, this means that the proposed plan of the affirmative would drastically alter the current system of education, departing from all components of the current system, including the standing policies which are, in fact, effective. The affirmative has, tacked, has attacked the teacher certification process, describing it to be too lenient to produce competent teachers. According to the Certification Map website of the University of South Carolina, all teachers in the U.S. are required to attain a bachelor's degree from a post-secondary institution. In Pennsylvania, there are over 90 different teacher preparation programs in which teacher in training, uh, course, teachers in training take courses in foundational knowledge and skills and pedagogy, the art of teaching. According to the University of South Carolina, one must satisfactorily complete a ba the basic skill test requirement and the subject area competence exam assessments of, this, uh, uh, of, excuse me, of the subject area they would like to teach in. Finally, the teacher is granted a certificate from his or her state's Department of Education and may begin searching for employment in schools. Notice how there is, in fact, a process to become a certified teacher. John Wilson, director of the National Education Association, remarks that the district itself can protect its students from bad teachers in the classroom or underqualified teachers by refusing to hire, hire unqualified teachers in the first place. While there are, in fact, certification processes which I have described, the main protection for our students comes from the administration. If they do their job properly, our students will not suffer. Um, in addition to the certification process, many people training to become teachers serve as student teachers and are therefore exposed to a real classroom as to learn what style of teaching works in addition to creating lesson plans. They teach children the same age in the classroom that they will teach when they become teachers. This is a hands-on experience and highly extensive. By the time a certified teacher enters their own classroom, they are prepared to educate our students. As the affirmative will most likely bring to your attention, recent test scores released by the Program for International Student Assessment, also known as PISA, demonstrate that the United States is allegedly falling behind academically when compared to other nations. Our opponents will stress that the U.S. is ranked far behind countries such as South Korea and China and exaggerate the atrocities of such scores. Let's get past all of the propaganda. Here are the facts. According to the 2009 PISA test scores, the U.S. ranked 17th in science, 25th on math, while also ranked 8th out of 34 countries in the reading achievement of highest performing students. If we are to be frank, they are not the highest achieving scores. However, they are far from the dangerous results that our opponents will make them seem. We are ahead of many of our European counterparts, including Norway, Denmark, France, Ireland, Spain, Italy, Portugal, and Greece. Yes, it is true that we score slightly lower than some Asian countries, such as South Korea, but the pressure forced upon Korean students to perform well on these types of tests is staggering. According to Lenska Pavich of the popular online news source, news source, The Casual Truth, quote, the pressure placed on Korean students is so immense that exam season is known as suicide season, and it's getting worse. Last year, the suicide rate among school students soared by 47%, end quote. No situation is dire enough to call for that type of pressure upon today's students, especially when the U.S. is actually faring quite well in foreign academic competition. There is another factor that affects how students perform academically, a factor that our opponents may not talk about in fear of seeming politically incorrect. I am talking about the parents. How a student values education is based upon the values taught to them by their parents. If a child is told from a young age that education is important, that homework and studying are tasks that require diligence, and respect towards teachers is expected, that child will grow to be a productive student. A 2010 study conducted by the researchers at the University of Leicester, which was published in MIT's Review of Economics and Statistics, found that, quote, children work harder whose parents put more effort into their education. Also included in the report is a quote from researcher Professor DeFraja, which says, quote, the researchers found that parents' effort is more important for a child's educational attainment than the school's effort. A school district could hire the most qualified teacher in the nation to teach in a struggling school, but if that teacher does not have the support of the student's parents, who do not make education a priority, those students will fail. In conclusion,
conclusion, our current education system is not on the brink of total collapse. And as I have proven, there is no immediate cause to overhaul an entire system on te of teacher preparation due to a set of test scores which are being exaggerated by the proponents of the resolution. Is the current system perfect? No. Iris and I are not trying to beguile you into believing that we find absolutely no fault in the United States' current system of education. But the fault is not solely on the teachers. However, there is no, there is no pending doom waiting the, f the future of our students of our country, and the problems we currently encounter are not at the fault of teachers. Please do not buy into the propaganda offered by our opponents. Thank you, and please vote negative.